algo ya que, que, que escucho yo. Hola, 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 Gonzalo, hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, 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 Carlos, Alfredo, hello, Carlos Antonio, Dinora, hello. Rocío, Omar, Luis, and Edwin Valmore. Luis Manuel, hi, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you today? Fine. Thank you. Excellent. You? I'm great. Thank you. Me. Yes, I'm great. Thank ¿Qué, you. Qué chivo le iba a decir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, guys, so let's see. We have Tuesday and three more classes. And that's it. We finish everything. Okay? Yeah. That's very fast. Okay? And Teacher. Dígame. Do you know if you going to be continuing with us? I don't know, Galileo. They never tell us beforehand. They usually, when the group is ready to go, they usually tell us like a couple of days before we begin. Okay. All right. So okay. as soon as I know, I will be letting you know. Okay. Thank you. But hopefully. <laughs> we, we hope. Yeah. We hope. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. All right, very good. So guys, yesterday, uh, we were talking about prepositions of place then, all right? Remember, we were talking about in, on, at, all right? So, son las mismas preposiciones de tiempo que estábamos viendo la semana pasada. Oh, excuse me, my nose is itchy. But they are prepositions of place. Tenemos in, tenemos on, y tenemos at, okay? Wow. Yeah. Que ver el de repente nos cuesta un poquito y ayer que me quedé con Carlos Antonio después de la clase eh, veíamos un poco cómo podíamos entender un poco mejor el uso de porque puede... el micrófono abierto ya yeah, thank you all right so Judithita, usted siempre está antes. ¿Y hoy qué le pasó? You fell asleep, Judith. No, I'm kidding. I was playing in my phone. Oh, very good. I didn't see the, the hour. Oh, no. Judith, <laughs> you are Sorry. bad. No, that's okay, Judith. You're always, like, very punctual. Okay, entonces, ayer le decía, o decíamos con Carlos Antonio, ¿verdad, Carlitos? Que ayer veíamos eso. Eh... Podríamos, a veces creo que nos cuesta entender la diferencia entre el in y el at, porque en español nosotros decimos en, estoy en la oficina, estoy en la parada de buses, estoy en todas partes, all right, entonces tendemos a traducirlo en nuestra mente como in, all right, pero véalo como at es como que soy afuera del lugar, all right, usted dice, póngase a pensar en esto, si yo le llamo y le digo, José Eduardo, where are you, y José Eduardo me dice, estoy En español, creo que en el buen salvadoreño dijéramos, estoy en la parada de buses, pero no estamos dentro de un lugar. All right? La parada de buses de nosotros es descubierto, no es una cabina. Entonces es, I am at the bus stop. All right? Porque estoy fuera de. Si tuviéramos una cabina, como en otros países, por la nieve y todo eso, por el frío, que son encerraditas, entonces obviamente usted puede decir in. Igual, lo veíamos ayer con Carlos, es como que estoy alrededor, afuera de, no es, no, y no puedo decir outside, tengo que usar in or at. Entonces, si usted está, yo ahorita veo a, Car, a Gonzalo y lo veo dentro de una oficina. Ok, entonces está encerrado, por decirlo así, en una oficina y de hecho tiene, ha de tener cuatro paredes. All right, so, entonces, Carlos, Gonzalo en este caso me diría, I am in the office. Está perfecto. Pero me puede decir, teacher, I am at work in the office, all right? Entonces, es como eh, lograr entender que el in estar dentro, dentro de, del lugar en sí, de un lugar como más encerrado, mientras que at es como que estoy en la entrada del banco esperándolo, en la entrada, de, en la entrada del restaurante esperando a los compañeros que lleguen, all right? So, at. Chef, Hola. Eh, I, yo entiendo, de, y es mi percepción, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y quizás me serviría mucho tomarlo así. Es como que at es casi que lo contrario que, que in. 
decir, si in es adentro de eh, ad, podría ser en el perímetro, ¿no? en tornos, o, en, o en un lugar abierto, como no cerrado. No cerrado, sino que por eso decía yo, tal vez se puede tomar para captar la idea como lo contrario. Si es un lugar específico, pero abierto, podría ser. Ajá. Yeah, very good, Galileo. Okay. Yeah. Entonces es como verlo de estar como más en el, en el adentro de un lugar, más in. All right. Entonces yo sé que cuesta, de repente cuesta y decimos, ay, no, no lo entiendo. Empiece a usarlo y de repente usted se va a dar cuenta que se oye raro si está usando la preposición equivocada, pero para llegar a eso hay que practicarlo. All right. Entonces es como, like, you have to make a lot of practice so we understand it. ¿Ok? Ya lo vamos a ver, no se preocupe igual. Eh, solo paso la primera asistencia de la noche. A ver, Rocío, Adelina, Cornejo de Contreras. Present. Thank you, Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Thank you, Carlos. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. I'm here. Thank you. Luis Alberto Ortega Linares. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present, teacher. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Ahí, Elmer. Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Sandra Judith Monge Torres. Omar Alexander González Barrera. Present. Thank you. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present. Thank you. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Guillermo Alfonso Ortiz Aguilar, Samuel Antonio Hernández Mancía, Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you. And Cesar Hamilton Rodríguez Castillo. All right. Okay. A ver, eh, ayer nos quedamos, la última práctica que vimos ayer fue de una hoja verde, ¿verdad? Sí, que estamos con el in on at. ¿Lograron terminarla o no la lograron terminar toda? No, ok, no, perfecto, ok, let's do, let's do the following then, yo sé que no van a quedar con las mismas personas que estuvieron ayer, all right, but eh, igual, si usted entra con Galileo, pregúntele, ¿verdad?, hasta qué pregunta llegaron, valga la redundancia, y de ahí tome, y si en caso Galileo llegó a la 10 y usted solo se quedó en la 5, pues entonces que Galileo le ayude a, a llegar hasta la 10 y luego sigan trabajando juntos, o viste, all right, tienen la foto, ¿verdad?, tienen la foto de ayer, ¿les quedó la foto ya?, Ok, muy bien. Entonces los mando ahorita con los que estamos y luego eh, obviamente se van a integrar los demás compañeros y los voy agregando a los grupos. Ok. Ok. Carlita, cabal entrando viene Carlita. Qué barbaridad. Gonzalo a Luis Manuel, le salió la invitación para unirse al grupo. Gonzalo.
Hi, Anna. Hi, Patrice. Hi, hello. Hi. Uh, yesterday, most of your classmates did not finish the last exercise of the prepositions. So uh, I sent them to work on that. So I'm going to send you with Dinora so you can uh, finish up in case you didn't finish or help her in case you finished and she didn't. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you. There you go, Beatriz. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Hola, Gonzalo. ¿Qué le pasó? La máquina no responde. Así me quedó. Mm -hmm. Intentamos. Ah, mire. Lo intento enviar al grupo. Sí, por favor. Vaya, ahorita. Gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome.
¿verdad? In, yo tengo, yo tengo in, en esa. In, ya. Yeah. Sí. Eh, Alfredo. Number eh, 15. 15. It says. It says in the guidebook that you must walk five miles before you turn right. It in. says. Yo también tengo in. Como in, says, porque es como está dentro del, del the libro. Guidebook. The guidebook. You must walk five miles before you turn right. It says. Ok, in. Lo acompaño en esa decisión. Ok. Let me see. Number 18. Oh, num num number 16. He's the plant of Japan. Galileo, we don't in. have numbers number 18, Galileo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Number 16. He is in the plant of Japan. He is? He is in the plane to Japan. Yeah, you cannot say at, he would die. <laughs> ah, yes. if, if he are, if he is at, he is dying. I understand that. It's at. Yo at eh, in, in, es dentro del avión. Él está mm -hmm. dentro del avión hacia Japón. He's in, he's in the plane to Japan. Uh -huh. Okay. In. The last Antonio. one. He looked at the gear in the picture. He likes what mm -hmm. he say. He saw. Tengo in the picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the gear. Okay. Okay. Ese ya me dicen que no hay discusión. <ríe> ok, repitámoslo entonces para ver este que se nos quede un poco. Ah, o le preguntamos las que tenemos ahí en, en difer diferentes. Ah, que tenemos dudas. En la, en la número 3, en You Can Food, the poster at the door o es on the door. ¿Cuál? Perdón, 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 que una alumna me está escribiendo, que no puede entrar. Ajá. La número tres. Number three. You can put the poster in the door, no, porque sería que tiene que abrir la puerta. I mean, abrir la puerta y meter el poster. Yo tengo at the door. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo. At the door is better. Yo tengo uh -huh. on the door. Because we it's are a surface. Yeah, we are talking about a surface. Yeah. My first choice, Galileo, would be at. You can put the poster at the door if you like. Okay. But on the door, it, I mean, the one that is not is in, all right? But on and at could be like debatable. <laughs> okay. Right? Thank you. Okay. Can you guys give me one second? Because there's another group calling me right now. Give me one second. Okay. Ok, repitámoslo entonces. Ya, ya vengo, ya vengo, perdónenme. Que... Any problem, teacher.
in the cover of the CD. Galileo, oh. you're right. I'm sorry, guys. Number three. Yeah, you're right. Because you're talking about a surface, right? Like a horizontal or vertical. Yeah, it's on the door. It's, it's on. Number yeah. three is on. Yeah. Exact, three exactamente is on. apareció para sacarnos de otra duda en la número <laughs> nueve. <laughs> en la número nueve. Uh -huh. en, en the if say in the cover. Porque yo creería que es sobre la cubierta. In the cover of the CD, housing is. O la, la otra era ponerle on. Yeah, oh. number nine, read the whole sentence, please. It says, say. it says, on the cover of the CD, who the singer is. Yeah. On the cover. Siempre está, no está no. dentro de la, de la, de la tapa, está on the cover. Mm -hmm. On the cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. On the cover, okay. Okay. También en la, en la, en la número, no quiero ver, sí, en la número 13. A ver si nos puede ayudar también, por favor. He is waiting. I, I think, ah, teacher, I think. But we we think different way. Okay. I think he's waiting at the end of the yeah. road. At the end of the road, yeah. Because it's a an specifically area. That's right. Yes, and it's not inside anywhere. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So it's at. He's that one is at. 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 Yeah. The end of the road. At the end of the road. Actually, there is a song that's called At yeah. the End of the Road. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny. Carlito, ¿por qué está tan callado? Carlos Alfredo, ¿qué le pasó? You're just listening? Yes. Carlitos, ¿y a esta hora? You're at work right now? Eh, no, I am home. I finished working at six o'clock. Okay. All right. All right. So where are the offices, Carlos? Uh, the main office of El Salvador is in San Benito. Oh, okay. And that's where you are every day in the main office? Uh, yes. Monday, Monday to Friday. Oh, all right. All day. All day. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. Yes. That's, I guess that's an interesting platform, huh? Yeah, there is some uh, many interesting because we had uh, a lot of products in around the world. I know, yeah. Right, yes. For example, in other country, in Holland, I don't know how to say Holland? It in English. <laughs> Holland? Holland. For example, I, uh, I have a bi electric bicycle. You can... Lent? Lent? Oh, you can rent. Electric, you can rent uh, electrical bicycles. In the United States, we have a service to the trucks. Okay. The truck transport and, oh. and anything. <laughs> wow, cool. Can you imagine? That's pretty nice. No, yes. Interesting, <laughs> eh? So I guess the company is big, eh? Yeah, we have support in many cities around the world. For example, wow. in Latin America, Guatemala, Honduras, uh, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, wow. Argentina. Everywhere, Bolivia, Carlos. Oh, my Brazil. goodness. <laughs> yeah. <Wow>. Mexico. <laughs> okay. Only Venezuela and Guyana, we don't have support. Okay. Cool, amazing, eh? All right, okay, yes. guys, we're gonna go back right now. Interesting, Carlos, very nice. We're gonna go back and we're gonna check, okay? Okay. 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 Hello. Carlita, no la saludé porque a entrar íbamos a los grupos y Guillermo vi que entró. Por ahí estaba. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carlita. Hey, where is Sandra today? 
Este, Sandrita tuvo un accidente. ¿Un accidente? Sí, chocó. Ahí me, me escribió ahorita que no logró meterse a la clase porque está en el taller. Porque ¿Pero está bien ella? Chocaron. Sí, dice que sí. Dice que sí. Y está viendo eh, con lo de su transporte <ríe> para mañana, dice. Pero oh, sí, my dice que solo, que está en el, solo que está en el taller ella. Ok, all right. Ah, bueno. Ah, me dijo que le avisara. Ya, yeah, gracias, Carlita. Gracias. Dígale que estamos pendientes ahí, pero qué bueno que no le pasó nada. Sí, gracias a Dios. Very good. All right. Guillermo, vi que entró. ¿Dónde está Guillermo? No lo veo. Ah, there you are. Hi, Guillermo. Y vi que entró Luis Alberto. Very good. All right, guys. Let's see. Hi, teacher. Hi, Guillermo. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Nice to see you. Nice to have you in class. All right. Just give me a second, guys, here. So I'm going to show you the uh, worksheet that we have here. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so we have write the correct prepositions of places on the lines. Acuérdese que aquí teníamos arriba, in is used for an uh, enclosed space, like in a box, in a book, in the garden, in New York, in the mirror, in the picture, in Australia, in the world, all right? On is used for a surface, on the wall, on the ceiling, there you go, uh, Galileo, on the door, on the floor, on the menu, on the page, all right, on the radio or TV or on the river uh, things, all right? Then we have at the corner, at the bus stop, at the door, oh, the beautiful baby, at the dentist, at a concert, at a party, at work, and at university. Obviamente, entre muchas más eh, lugares o ejemplos, okay? Now, let's do number one. All right, guys, uh, let's do number one. She was sitting the table waiting for her, her husband to arrive. She was sitting on, in, or at, guys. On. On. O sea, que estaba sentada sobre la mesa. O sea, está la mesa y estaba sentada sobre la mesa. Oh. ¿Sí? ¿Así sería? Sí. At the table. At the table, Dinora. Very okay. good. She's sitting at the table. A menos que en verdad está sentada sobre la mesa, en la mesa, exacto. Pero si estoy alrededor de la mesa, es at the table. All right. Number two. My mother uh, lives in. 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 In the second floor. Mm -hmm. It would be on the second I, floor. On. All right. Porque I si have está, um, yeah, it's it's on the second floor in the apartment. All right, but it's on the second floor. Es como en una superficie horizontal o vertical, como sea el alemán. All right, you can put this poster. ¿Cuál era esa? Number three. Um, at, on, on, at, at the door. The door. Or on the door, if you like. Very good. Where um, is he staying at the moment? In, in, in Germany. In, Very in good, Jose Eduardo. Nice. Do you know where the key is? No me va a decir que, ¿verdad? Es key. Yes. In your pocket. In. Yes. In your pocket. In your pocket. Porque está dentro. Es dentro de su bolsillo. O de su bolso. De su bolsillo. And number six. Where did you learn? Where did you learn um, about the accident? I read it. At. Um, at. At the newspaper. In. In. In the newspaper. At. Yeah, it's in the newspaper. Porque está, like, usted abre el newspaper y está dentro, la información está dentro del periódico. It would be in that one. Uh, Galileo, I think yesterday we said it was on, but it's in the newspaper because you have to open it. Okay. Thanks. All right, very good. Very good. So we have, are you sure he's home? Oh, no, he is. Uh, <laughs> At home. At, at home. home. at home. At home. Very good. Yes. Are you sure he's at home now? 
I have a meeting at 7 p.m. tomorrow. In, in, in Los Angeles. It says, in, oh. it says on the cover of the CD who the singer is on sobre la portada, right? Very good. And number 10, how long were you able to stay? In. 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 All right, in, very good. Number 11, there are many stars. At. No. Oh. In. In. In, in the, the sky. sky. In the sky. All right. He was standing <clears throat> at. Oh. He was standing at the crossroads of his life. Right. Oh. Very good. Number thirteen. He's waiting at the, at, end. at the end of the road. Very good. What's what's on what? TV. What? In TV tonight. On TV. On TV tonight. On TV. Right. It says at in in the guidebook, igual que en el newspaper, verdad? In the guidebook, number sixteen, he is in in. All right, all right, yeah. And the last one, he looked at the girl in. In the, the picture. picture, very good. In, In the, the picture. picture, perfect. All right, uh, let me see here. Veamos entonces el manual un ratito. Antes de, solo déjeme buscarlo aquí, abrirlo. All right. Ayer creo que terminamos la página 40, ¿verdad? Revisen ahí si la logramos terminar. Después que me mandó Carlos el mensaje, le pedí a las personas de, de la academia que mandaran el libro, ¿verdad? Que lo recibieron en el grupo. ¿Ya? Sí. All right. Y ahí sí está completa las cuatro, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah. all right, very good. Ok. Gracias, Carlitos, por el recordatorio. <laughs> very good. Ok. So, yesterday, eh, terminamos este exercise, First Avenue Training Room, ¿sí, verdad? Sí. Yeah, okay, very good. Okay, so, no nos vamos a olvidar ahorita de las preposiciones del lugar porque lo vamos a seguir usando, pero nos tenemos que pasar a este tema que es there is, there are, okay? Hablamos siempre de addresses and places. Acuérdense que addresses son direcciones y places obviamente es lugar o lugares, all right? Ayer veíamos like a places around town, like the hospital, university, clinic, All right, todos esos lugares ahí que podemos encontrar dentro de una ciudad o un lugar, ¿ok? Solo déjeme. Ok. Here. Ok, so here we have. Vamos a empezar a usar there is, there are. Ya le voy a explicar de qué se trata para los que no sabemos. Y luego vamos a poner como aplicar todo. All right, a ver. It says here, uh, we're going to do the conversation with Litania. Okay, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. All right. So here's the conversation. A ver, leámosla un par de, de voluntarios que me ayuden aquí a leerla. Y luego corregimos. Thank you, Galileo. You want to be well? Y necesito un Tania o una Tania. Okay, perfect. Okay. Can we start? Teaching? Yes, please. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? 
Where is the Melbourne building? I don't no. live here. Don't worry. They are for buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it isn't down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. All right. Very good. All right. Thank you, Carlita. Thank you, Galileo. All right. I need another Will and another Tanya. Me. Okay. Thank you. And who's going to read the other one? My teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, Will uh, and then Tanya can be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Mayburg building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to, girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Uh, it's there. Uh, it's there at uh, training centers. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some. I have some interesting inter interviews. In interviews. Interviews there. Interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Nice reading. And the last two. Hagamos dos más y vemos pronunciación y vemos eh, vocabulario. Yo. Me. Eh, me. Ok, thank you, Carlos. And someone else. Yo, Dinora. Ok, Dinora, go ahead. Um, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Very well done. Okay. So here, de, de repente, no hay mucho que corregir. Super bien. Um, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? Very good building. It's like an edificio, right? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Main Street is como la calle principal, okay? Uh, I know it. It's down the street. All right, como abajo. All right, sí. hacia abajo. Uh, on the left side. Very good. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. All right. Acuérdese que interviews son entrevistas. No sé si hay alguna otra palabra que no sepa qué quiere decir. Si gusta, revisa. And then you ask me so I can tell you. Si no, seguimos ahí. I have one, but it's not uh, the converse conversation. Okay, that's okay. 
Eh, su, surrounding. Ah, alrededor. Ah. Surroundings es alrededor. Uh -huh. All right. Por eso el de surround sound, porque es el, el sonido de como alrededor suyo, ¿verdad? De la televisión, if you have, in case you have that system. All right, very good. Okay. And thanks. thank you, Judith, very good. Any other question? Melbourne es el nombre del edificio. Sí. Melbourne es el nombre del edificio. All right, very good. Nice, very good. Anything else? All right, very good, guys. So, si se fija, acá tenemos there are y tenemos there is. Lo que pasa que está hecho pregunta, por eso está is there. All right, now, in English, we have two. There is and there are. In Spanish, if you want to know what it means, it means I. I no de dolor, sino de hay de haber. All right, so hay dos edificios, hay cinco edificios, hay una maestra, hay 18 estudiantes, I. All right. Quiere decir que there are is plural and there is is singular. Okay? So we say, for example, there are 18 students in class. Porque tenemos 18. There are 18 students in class. O decimos there is one teacher. Okay? Because there's only one teacher here. Obviamente Galileo is my assistant, but he is the teacher assistant. All right? So there is one uh, teacher. There are 18 students. Siempre lo podemos, lo podemos usar el there is y there are for people, for places, for animals, for objects. Yo le digo, there is one cup, all right? O I say, there is a pen. O le digo, I don't know, ah, tengo más. There are pens, all right? Because I have two or three or four or five. Entonces, siempre lo podemos usar para singular, there is. Para plural, there are, okay? Remember, for people, for things, for animals, for objects, whatever you need to say, okay? Ahora, por eso decía aquí ella, there are four buildings, all right? Because there are four. Cuando usted pregunta, va por la calle y anda preguntando por, no sé, por la clínica. Usted dice, excuse me, is there a clinic? All right? Porque está buscando la clínica, no las clínicas, right? Generalmente usted va a preguntar por, de forma singular, is there, ¿ok? A ver, here, solo déjeme ver aquí. Veamos aquí, vamos a ver esta y luego nos vamos a ir a las presentaciones que tengo yo allí. There is singular and there are plural. ¿Quién me lee este cuadrito que está aquí de singular y alguien más que me lea plural? Me, teacher. All right, thank you. Uh, singular. Yes. There is an ATM across the street. Okay. There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There's no, uh -oh, no veo, clothing. There's no okay. clothing factory around the corner. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Galileo. Who's going to read there are for plural? Me. Okay. Thank you. They are plural. They are a lot of company down the street. Mm -hmm. Down street. Uh, they are some supermarkets on the right and left. And left side of the street. And they are not hospitals on barrios, on barrios, así. No, barrios, yes, los nombres eh, propios no se traducen. Ah, el nombre, ajá, el nombre del barrio, okay. <laughs> yes, barrio, on barrio street. street. Okay. All right, very good, thank you. Okay, so here we have, there is an ATM. An ATM es la maquinita donde sacamos dinero, all right? ATM. Eh, there is a recruitment center, all right? So, es un um, centro de reclutamiento para poder trabajar. Uh, there is no clothing factory. No hay eh, una eh, fábrica de ropa, all right? Luego pasamos al there are a lot of. A lot of quiere decir many, all right? So, there are a lot of companies. Hay muchas empresas. 
en esta calle, down the street. There are some supermarket, hay algunos. Si se fijan acá, vamos, eh, siempre usamos is, ¿verdad? Porque es singular y usamos an or a. All right. O puede decir, there is one building, or there is one clinic, or there is one park. Pero siempre me denota uno. Mientras que acá, como es plural, puedo usar a lot of, que quiere decir muchos. Puedo usar many, puedo usar some, que es algunos, pero es más de uno. All right. So we can use these things here. Okay? Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. If I am uh, lost, uh, uh -huh. what? What I can uh, do uh, to to do the the the, the address? Like, what do you mean? I, I don't really get it. Digamos, si estoy perdido, cómo puedo hacer para preguntar, digamos, para que me ubique la gente. Um, no sé si me explico. Por ejemplo, la más que todo, cómo preguntar. Eh, ¿Desde dónde estoy o desde cómo puedo llegar a? ¿Cómo puedo llegar a? Ah, ok. Like you can say, how can I get to eh, Universidad Nacional, por decirle algo. How can I get to uh, Metro Centro? How can I get to... Eh, how, can get? how can I get to? Uh -huh. Ok. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right, no, you're welcome. Okay, so let me just finish sharing this here with you and let me just look for. Okay, I want you to see this here, guys. Siempre estamos con there is, there are. Y hablamos there is is singular, okay? Cuando decimos affirmative es que usted dice hay un parque por mi casa. So me say, teacher, hay un parque por mi casa. Teacher, there is a park like by my house. Okay? Uh, lo podemos contractar y decimos there's. There's a park. Oh, there is. Negative, there is not or there isn't. And interrogative, porque yo le pregunto, Judith, hay una, no sé, hay un Burger King por su casa. Is there a Burger King? All right, tengo a ver. I'm kidding. All right. Is there a Burger King by your house? Right? Is there? Ahora, ¿cómo me va a contestar yeah, Judith? Me va a decir, yes, teacher, there is. O me va a decir, no, no teacher. There no, there isn't. No, there isn't. All right. But there is a Pizza Hut. Oh, okay. We can go. That's okay. All right. Or Papa Jones. All right. All right. I know, Galileo, you love your pizzas. All right. More okay. unknown. Yeah, I know. All right, so we have affirmative, negative, and interrogative, okay? Y para contestar, en, es así, de esta dos formas, yes or no. ¿Qué estamos queriendo preguntar? Estamos queriendo preguntar si hay tal cosa, all right? In plural, this is the way. There are. Si se fija, no llevamos el a aquí, porque el are es plural. All right, negative, there are not or there aren't. And interrogative, are there, I don't know, many buildings or many apartment buildings in your city? You say, may say yes, there are, teacher, or no, there aren't. Okay, so we play with that um, answer, depending on what you have. A ver. And, no nos vamos a meter en esto ahorita, no. All right, esto no, ahorita no. Y voy a seguir aquí con la otra. Here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here we have, guys, it says here. Use there is and there are to say that something, something exists. Okay. Por eso les decía que for us it's I. Singular, there is. A ver, ¿quién me lee los, las, eh, la parte de singular acá? Toda, el cuadro, y luego plural. All right. Thank you, Galileo. You can read the singular again. Okay. Singular. There is, there is a tree in the yard. Contractions. There is a tree. Equal, there's a tree. Negative. There is not a tree in the jar. Negative, negative contraction. There's not a tree in the jar. There isn't a tree in the jar. 
question. Is there a tree in the yard? Very good, nice, thank you, all right. Who can uh, read the plural form, please? Someone to read it? I won't. Um, plural. Mm -hmm. There are. There are two cats on the chair. Okay. Contraction, you cannot contract. There are. Mm -hmm. Negative. There are not two cats on the chair. Negative contraction. There aren't two cats on the chair. Okay. A question. Are there two cats on the chair? Very good. Thank you. All right. So remember that we can say there is or there are. There is for singular and there are for plural. Okay. Preguntas hasta ahorita. No questions? No? Okay. Yeah. Question, aquí sigue. All right. Is there a tree in the yard? Use any in questions with uncountable nouns. Is there any water in the cup? No nos vamos a meter todavía con lo contable y no contable. All right. Porque eso es tema cercano, pero no lo vamos a ver ahorita. All right. So, esto lo vamos a dejar guardadito por ahí. Quiero pasar a lo otro. All right. Okay. ¿Sabe qué? Voy a dejar de compartir aquí un ratito. Voy a tomar la asistencia de la segunda hora. All right, kiss me. Y luego regresamos a la, el libro. Y luego la otra presentación que tenemos ahí. All right, guys, give me a second. Ok. Eh, Rocío Adelina Cornejo de Contreras. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. José Eduardo Guzmán um, Álvarez. I'm here. Okay. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, Luis Alberto Ortega Linares. Present. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present, teacher. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Sandra Judith Monge Torres. Hold on, guys, give me a second. All right. Uh, Omar Alexander González Barrera. Present teacher. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Guillermo Alfonso Ortiz Aguilar. Uh, here, teacher. Thank you, Guillermo. Samuel Antonio Hernández Mancía. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you. And Cesar Hamilton Rodriguez Castillo. All right. Okay. A ver. Um, vamos entendiendo el uso de there is y there are hasta ahorita. Yes? All right. Perfect. A ver. Solo déjeme aquí ver una cosa. Hold on, guys. Give me one second, please. Okay, vamos a ver. Una. Hold on, guys. A ver, hágame un favor. No, 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 no. Quiero que vayamos a hacer esta primera práctica junto con otra cosa que les quiero pedir. Solo necesito que hagan la, la, la foto de las dos imágenes que están aquí. No de lo que dice aquí, ignore lo que dice ahí. Solo picture A y picture B. Esas dos. All right. Ok. 
Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Voy a dejar de compartir. What I want you to do is, together with your group, I want you to make sentences saying there is or there are. Si usted ve un pajarito en la foto A, usted dice there is a bird. All right? Eh, si ve dos pajaritos, va a decir there are like two birds. Ok, entonces usando there is, there are. Son similares las fotos, pero no son igual. Entonces no es como que, ah, pero son, en alguna tiene que ver otra cosa. Ok, so, hagamos eso. Van a ser las dos imágenes y luego necesito que usted piense en por donde usted vive o por donde usted trabaja. Usted escoja. All right, y cuéntele a su compañero o compañera qué hay. Ok, yo por ejemplo puedo decir, bueno, uh, by my house, there is a police station, there are two tienditas, there are two grocery stores, all right, there is a park, there is um, uh, um, 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 a soccer field, actually there are two soccer fields, there is a market, there is a shopping center, tal vez no a la par de mi casa, pero sí alrededor, all right. There is, I don't know, a Dollar City. Usted y ve ahí que hay cerca de su casa donde usted trabaja. All right? Pero primero las imágenes y luego lo, cada quien eh, cuenta que hay por alrededor de su trabajo or your house. Okay? Ready? Teacher, no le tome foto a las pasó? imágenes. Ignora, porque no quiere ni nada ahorita. A ver, Dina. Ahí. Okay. Thank you. Okay.
proud. Very. Yeah, it it yeah it's because he's only out. Another. Another object. I don't know. De ahí está um, otra vez uh, the dog. Ah, pero en la en la también en la the picture A. The picture A is uh -huh, the, the same. Uh -huh. the, the same. Y también hay una este canasta de comida que es que decimos que era una ben sí seis basket food. Basketball. Basketball. There is a division, mm -hmm. right? They are. Uh, yes, there is basketball. Basketball. There is basketball. Um, the flyer, también. <laughs> the flyer, yes. Uh, there is flyer. Uh, ah, okay. In the picture layer, in the picture A, the picture is in the day, in the sun. Yes, sun. In the picture, see, yes, sun. Yes, sun. yes, yes, sun, the sun. Uh -huh, there is sun. There is sun. Hey, Carlita and Elmer, it's um, a food basket. Food basket. Uh -huh. okay. a ah, es al revés la, el orden de la palabra. Ah. Y nosotros no estamos diciendo, pero miren, no estamos tan perdidos. Ok, Ups, okay thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. De ahí, este, de, de Gear, de Gear Shield, de Children. De Gear Mm. Ah, también está I don't, I don't... one chicken <laughs> two two maripositas <laughs> Afre, este, I don't know butterfly La, eso. butterfly but ok it's the same the food basket esa es la cadastra la teacher hasta después nos, nos escuchó porque de qué rato estábamos diciendo básquet. No, sí, sí, pero no los quería interrumpir porque los veía tan serios. Para que vean que somos dedicados, teacher. Va, entonces yo veo, okay, lo, sí. también veo las montañas, the mountains. Yeah, the mountain, in the, the picture, eh, in the picture B, it's a uh, oh. The, there is a night. Mm, ¿Qué ver? ¿Qué noche sería? Estrella. No, the es afternoon. Tarde. No sé cómo se dice tarde. Ah, the afternoon, no afternoon. night. Afternoon, es tarde. Uh, I see you black and white. <laughs> nah, it's, it's uh, not. I, I see. Es tu morro ah, en tu sí. morrito. Ahí <risa> sí, um, um, ¿qué ve? No, 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 porque en la picture B, I see a bird, because no, ¿cómo se dice? Como simulado. The because in picture es que sí, ah, tiene ah, razón, que fíjese. Eh, para tiene mí sería ah. que the picture A is the morning, o sea, amaneciendo, saliendo el sol. Picture B eh, ah, is the ah. afternoon. Ah, no ah, veo estrellitas ni veo luna. <risa> Hasta estrellitas ve, Carlita. No, le digo que no veo estrellitas ni veo luna, le digo para decir que es night, que es noche. Mm -hmm. Sino okay. que para mí la Pero picture si A es... es sí, eh, sí. The morning, y Victor B at the afternoon. Ok. Right. Hicieron la de que están cerca de sus casas, o todavía no, del trabajo. No, todavía no. Eso okay. todavía no. Va, si okay. quieres, sigamos con lo de nosotros. Ok. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. There, there is, is a sun. sun. And the little A and the little B. There is there sun. Is not a sun. There is not sun. Okay, we finish, teacher. Excellent. <laughs> so did you do the other activity, Galileo? Uh, what is like around your neighborhood or around your house? I know. You no, didn't no, do no. that one? Not yet. No, that's okay. We're gonna go back right now because um, I think most of the groups are finishing this activity right now. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Give me one quick second, guys, please. Yeah, I know I had it off. Give me one second, please. Thank you. All right, sorry guys. Okay, let's see. I think most of you finished. Oh no, where did I put it? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness, this is okay. So most of us finished this picture, okay? So let's see. Um, what can you tell me about picture A, guys? What did you find in picture A? Uh, there in picture A, mm -hmm. there is a tree in picture A. Okay, there is a tree on picture A. Very good, thank you. Any other things, guys? There is a bird. There is a bird, yes, very good. What else? Someone else to tell me what is there in picture A? There is a car. There's a car, yes, very good, yes. What else? There are three flying butterflies. Wow, there are three flying butterflies. Perfect. Very good. What else? There is a food basket. There is a, a food basket. Very good, Elmer. There is a food basket. Very good. What else? There, there, there is, is a dog. A, mm -hmm. There is a dog. Okay. There is a little boy. With yeah. Laughing. Without a tooth. <laughs> Okay, very good. Okay, there's a rabbit. There is a rabbit. Yes. Okay. There is there a is sun. A, there's a sun. Very good. All right. There Anything? Is a okay. Very good. What about uh, any more sentences with there are or only there are butterflies? There are. Mountains. There are. Mountains. Yes, Beatrice. Very good. There oh. are mountains. Perfect. Okay. What about in picture B? What do you see in picture B? There, there are, are three gloves. Ah, uh, balloons. There are three balloons. balloons. All right, okay. three balloons. Very good. What else? What is here? Balloons. There is a cat. There is a cat, yes. The picture is a There is a what, Galileo, excuse me? There is a cat on the bench. Yeah, there is a cat on the bench. Very good. Where All is, right. What is he? A girl. A skateboard. Oh my goodness! Yes, there is a girl on the skateboard. Very good. Okay. There is a bread. There the... are two trees. There are two trees. Very good, Patrice. What was your sentence? There is a bread. 
Ay, Beatriz, lo siento, no le escuché bien porque había un micrófono abierto. Say it again, Beatriz. There is a bread in the basket. There is a bread in the basket. Yes, for sure. Very good. Yeah, very observative. Uh, there, is very good. there is a There is a house. There is a, a house. Yes, there is a house. Very good. There is one chicken. There is one chicken. Yeah, you're right. There is one chicken, Carlita. Very good. There, okay. is there is a juice. bottle of wine. A bottle in, of wine in the, the basket, the picnic basket. Yes, in the food basket or picnic basket. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay. Lograron hacer, uh, también lograron hablar sobre lo que hay o yeah, lo que tienen cerca de su casa o de su oficina o no lograron hacer eso. Yes. Some of you did, some of you didn't. Okay, that's okay. A ver, Beatriz, can you tell me uh, what did you talk about? There is or there are? Did you choose your house or your workplace? My work. Okay, can you tell us what there is or what there are? There is a store in on the left side of my office. Okay. There is a bus station in the corner of my office. Okay. So let's Okay, very good. That's fine. Thank you. All right, let's see. ¿Quién más me dijo que se había logrado terminar eso? Me hecho. Okay, Luis Alberto, tell us. Yes. In my neighborhood. Okay. There are many pharmacies. Ah, oh, there are many uh, drugstores or pharmacies. Okay. There is a bakery and there is a soccer field. Oh, cool. Okay. Only that, Luis Alberto? Solamente, sí. Ok, perfect, very good. ¿Alguien más que logró hacer esa práctica? Yo no la hice, pero puedo, puedo claro, ir. Claro, es que ahorita a mí les toca. All right, very good, Carlita. A ver. Eh, the my world. Ok. Eh, there is the church. There is a church, church. ok. okay. Church. Eh, there is the place Merliot. <laughs> Plaza Merliot. Plaza Merliot, yeah, there is a, like a Plaza Merliot, a shopping eh, center. Uh -huh. eh, it's the... Much, much uh, bakeries. Many, many bakeries, many, many restaurants. Bakeries, okay. Restaurants. All right. What else? Uh, it's the Boquero Street. Carretera para el Boquero. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Nice. Carlos Alfredo, what about you? Like, you choose your neighborhood or your work? Can you tell us what there is or there are close by? Uh, my work. Okay. My, my work is near to uh, a different, uh, in a, what do you say, Centro Comercial? <laughs> a shopping centers or shopping mall? Um, a shopping center. There is a farmer. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a archer. In the nurture's office. Okay. And bars. Mm. And food now. <laughs> A what? I don't know. Food no. Oh no food. A, oh food. okay. Near. Oh no. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to say them the another site. <laughs> chill, mate, chill. Okay. All right. Thank you, Carlos. Very good. Thank you. All right, Galileo, tell us. Around my work, uh, there are some little restaurants. Mm -hmm. There are some uh, apartments. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are, uh, there is a university. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. There is Café Don Pedro. Okay. On the Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt, yes. Or Roosevelt Avenue, I think. Uh, <laughs> there are some banks. Yes. Uh, there are, uh, there is Gimnasio Nacional in front of my work. Yeah, pretty much. Uh-huh. And the stadium, uh, right? Yeah. There, there is a stadium, Mike okay. Gonzalez. Okay. And there, there are some uh, uh, drive, driver school. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Very good, otras thanks. Cosas. Yeah, very good, yes, thank you. All right, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más nos quiere compartir what there is around your workplace? Me. Okay, Rocío, tell us. There is a stadium. Okay. Uh, they, they are a supermarket. There are, hay varios o solo hay uno, Rosy? Yes. Uno o varios? Varios. Okay, so there are supermarkets. Quítele el A porque el A me, deno me denota nada más uno. Uno, okay. okay. They there are, are supermarkets. Uh-huh. Okay. They are typical food sales. Okay. Mm. What else? Only that, Rocio? Only. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you. All right. Um, someone else? Carlos Antonio, I know you want to say what's around your work. Uh huh. I, I, I around our work. Mm -hmm. Uh, or, or around my house. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, uh, I there is uh, neither the field soccer. A soccer field. A soccer field. Okay. And the basketball field. Ah, a basketball court. A field is para el football and court is para el basketball. Basketball right. court. Excellent. Yes. And the soccer field. All right. Is. Uh, how many restaurants? Okay. E and mm, uh, the near uh, the bus bus stop. Okay. Or parada de bus. Yes, a bus stop. Yes. Bus stop. Okay. Mm, yes. All right. Very good. Interesting. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go back here to our um book. Let me just get it here again for us here. Okay, now let's go back to page 42. And now we can make the exercises that we have here, okay? A ver, complete the exercise with there is or there are and a quantifier. Uh -huh. A ver, antes de, antes de usar, uh, de pasar a hacer este, permítame explicarle una cosa. Ahí dice there is y dice there are, que es lo que hemos estado, estado viendo. Los quantifiers es de cantidad. Cuando hablamos de singular, siempre vamos a hablar de uno, uno como número o a, que quiere decir uno. Decimos there is a park, there is a church, there is a university, there is a stadium. All right? Ahora, si usted tiene más de uno, Obviamente va a usar there are y podemos usar, así como ellos usaban aquí, eh, a lot of, que es muchos, some, que es algunos, many, en el caso de los lugares que podemos contar. Por ejemplo, si por su trabajo, por su casa, hay muchos bancos. Usted dice there are many banks, porque puede decir un banco, dos bancos, tres bancos, cuatro bancos. All right. O si por su casa o su trabajo hay muchos restaurantes o cafetines, usted dice there are many cafeterias or there are many restaurants, porque puedo decir una, dos, tres, cinco, diez cafeterías. Okay? Entonces, el many lo vamos a usar para cosas o lugares que podemos enumerar, like del uno al mil millón, si usted gusta. All right? El sum es para algunos. All right? Quiere decir que los quantifiers los usamos para plural, no para singular. Para singular solo usamos a, que quiere decir uno. All right? Ahora, si no hay, entonces decimos no en el caso. All right? There, uh, si se fija aquí dice, there are no hospitals. There is no clothing factory around the corner. Usamos no nada más. OK? O usted puede decir any. El any pues, eh, lo usamos para ambos. There aren't any. Si no hay bancos por mi casa, yo diría there aren't any banks. O si no hay un parque, there isn't any parks. ¿Ok? So, usamos el any para negativo también. Pero los, cuando hablamos de quantifiers, es, se refiere a cantidad. A lot of. 
sorry, a lot of, many, some, or no. De eso es lo que vamos a usar ahorita. Entonces, con eso en mente, resolvamos esto que está acá, de la 1 a la 6, aunque okay, a pesar que aquí dice 1, no importa. Tratemos de resolver, me avisan para revisar. Qualifier, ¿qué significa, teacher? ¿El cual? Qualifier. Eh, ¿Dónde está la instrucción? Sí, sí. Que dice quantifier. Uh -huh. Es cantidad. Como de cantidad, ¿verdad? Es, y okay. eso implicaba que es a lot of, some, many, any, and no. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Are we finished? Yes. Yeah, All right, sure. let's see. Okay, perfect. Number one, marketing presentation across the street 
In the morning. There is. There is. Very good. There is K. Ah, very good. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Number two. There are some business there workshops some. down the street. There are some business workshops down the street. All right. Some. There are some. All right. Number three. Recruitment centers centers around my building. There's not. There aren't. There, there are aren't. Not. Okay, there are not, there are no, or there aren't recruitment centers around my building, okay? Okay. Number four. There aren't. There aren't. Oh, seguros? There isn't, sorry. There, there isn't, isn't or there is no store on, there isn't, there isn't a store on, there isn't a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and 2nd Avenue. And then we have five banks behind the factory I work. There are. There are. There are. There are banks behind the factory I work. Number six, Aranza building around the corner. There is. There is. There there is, is an Aranza building. Um. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Let's see. Voy a dejar de compartir aquí, solo déjeme. Ya. Solo déjeme ver una cosa. Ok, ok, perfecto. Ok, so here guys, I want to share this with you here right now. Let me get it here. In a second. Okay. Yeah. Cuando hablamos, ay, ¿se acuerda que ayer yo le decía que hay otras preposiciones del lugar que tenemos que ver? Ayer hablamos de in, on, at. Okay. But we also have many others. For example, I'm going to show you this one right here. Tenemos above, around, alrededor. Above es como sobre. Around, at, behind, que es atrás o detrás. Below, it's like, uh, Debajo, beside es a la par, igual que next to, between, all right, en medio de, far away from, está como lejos de, in, 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 the, in back of, es como también atrás, in the back of, in front of, in the front of, tenemos in the middle of, inside, <coughs> Near, que es cerca, next to, que es igual contigo o a la par. On, on top of, outside and under. All right. Esas son como las preposiciones que de repente usamos bastante, especialmente cuando vamos dando como direcciones o estamos diciendo a dónde se encuentra su oficina. En el caso que alguien va a llegar a visitarla, usted dice, ah, ok, para dar un punto de referencia, there is a beauty salon in front of the office. O usted dice, around the corner, alrededor, like, al otro lado de la esquina, around the corner, there is a coffee shop. O usted dice, there is a, a hotel near the office, cerca de. El opuesto de near es far, que es lejos. All right, so we have near and far. So tenemos varias preposiciones de lugar que podemos usar, obviamente, para... Eh, expresar dónde está x x lugar y dar como puntos de referencia. All right, so we have on. Eh, tenemos varias acá. All right, so it's like important for you guys to see this. Okay. A ver, tratemos de hacer estas juntos aquí. The books are. Mire dónde están los libros y mire dónde está la taza de café. The books are beside the cup. Mm -hmm. A la par del... Ok. 
Entonces, si se fija, aquí de hecho ellos es están... Ya, yeah, aquí están como ilustrando las tres posibles respuestas o posibilidades que podríamos tener al ver la taza y los libros. Podríamos decir, the books are beside the cup, ¿ok? Podríamos decir, uh, the books are next to the cup, all right? Or the books are near the cup. Cualquiera de esas son como posibilidades tomando en cuenta la posición de ambos objetos. The books are between two cups. Aquí está en medio, ¿verdad? Between one cup and two cups, so it's between. The books are far away from the cup. Mire la distancia que hay de que hay de los libros y la taza. Entonces decimos the books are far away from the cup. All right. Uh, here we say the cup is on the books. O podríamos decir the cup is on top of the books. Okay. Then we have, I have a, a question. Yes, Judith. Uh, when when we say near Uh, we just say near the cup or near of no near the cup near, near my work near the office no near okay. of mm -hmm. okay very good Thank you. you're welcome okay and then we have here uh the cup is under the books all right porque está como abajo then we say the cup is above the books All right, then we have the hands are around, como alrededor de la taza, all right? Then we have, veamos acá, seguimos viendo aquí, the man is in back of the bus, como atrás del bus, or the man is behind the bus, cualquiera de esas. Eh, the man is in front of the bus, the man is in the back of the bus, aquí está subido, pero está hasta el, atrás del bus. The man is in front of, ah, no sé, lo había dicho. The man is in front of the bus too, igual que aquí va así como adelante. The man is in the middle of the bus, all right. O podríamos decir, está dentro del bus, is inside the bus, okay. Entonces, si se fija, tenemos como varias posibilidades de acuerdo a los eh, dibujos o donde se encuentran los objetos o los lugares que queremos mencionar, okay. A ver. Vamos, voy a dejar esto aquí, por lo de la, vamos a terminar con esto ahorita. All right, mire aquí las oraciones, mire dónde está la manzana y tratemos de ir haciendo eh, sentences y dice ahí que más de una respuesta es posible, así como lo que teníamos aquí, ¿verdad? Si se fija, a veces hay la ABC, podría ser esta perfecta, all right? So here, dejo esto aquí, lo van viendo y lo van haciendo.
All right, what about number one? What can be the option for number one, guys? The apple is? On the plate. On the plate, all right. Any other possibility? In the middle of the plate. Okay, sure, all right, very good. What about, yeah, number two? The apple is? Under. 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 Oh, okay, under like under. Plate. Okay, very good. Under, below. Uh huh. What else? Any other possibility for that one? No? All right. What about three? The apple is again. Above. Above. Okay. Above, above the uh, plate. All right. What about four? The apple is. Next to. Next beside. Next to or beside, all right, or near. Beside. Okay. Or maybe in front of, it's relative. Sure, oh yeah, totally. And where we are uh, uh, parados. Yeah, where <laughs> we're standing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, very good. Number uh, five, the apple isn't close to the cup. It is? Far away. Far away. Far away. Far away. Far away. Very good. Nice. Number six. The apple is in the cup. In the cup or inside, in. if you want to say it in. All right. Seven. The cup is between. 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 Very nice. Between. The hands are. The hands are around. 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 When you're holding something, right? you say around it. Very good. Number nine, the dog isn't inside the car. The dog is in front of, so, in front of the car, maybe? Outside. Outside the car, outside. for sure. Outside. Near to car. Near, near the car. All right. Okay, very good. What about number 10? The dog is back. Back to. Behind. Okay, back. behind or back to the car, yes, all right. Yeah, and num yeah also. That's Number 11, the dog is? In front of the car. In front of? The car. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Hey, number 12, the dog is driving. The dog is? In the car. In the car, <laughs> yeah. Any other possibility? Inside. Inside, uh, yes. All right, front of the car also. In the and, front yeah. Of mm -hmm. the car. Nice. And 13, guys. The is back of the car. In back the of car. the car. In the back. In the back of the car. All right. Okay. So, estas prepositions no solo nos sirven para ubicar algún objeto o algo, sino que también como para las direcciones. All right. So you have to remember that. Acuérdense que estamos viendo eso. Mañana, igual vamos a ver lugares dentro de una oficina. All right, no que todas las oficinas lo tengan, pero es como conocer algún eh, vocabulario relacionado con eso y siempre con las prepositions of place y usando there is, there are. Si se fija, uh -huh. obviamente hay muchas más preposiciones de lugar, no solo in, on, and at. All right. Voy a tomar la asistencia. Ok, Elmer, no sé si se puede quedar un ratito, de, un ratitito después de clase, Elmer. Sure, sure. Thank you. All right, Rocío de Lina Cornejo de Contreras. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. I'm here. Luis Alberto Ortega Linares. Present. Thank you. Eh, Gonzalo Valle Valle. Thank you, Gonzalo. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. Thank you, Elmer. Uh, Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Okay. Uh, Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Sandra Judith Monge Torres, Omar Alexander González Barrera, Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present, teacher. Eh, Carlos, Carla, sorry, Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza, que se me hizo Carlita. Ahí está. 
All right. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Guillermo Alfonso Ortiz Aguilar. Samuel Antonio Hernández Mancía. I hear teacher, Guillermo, sorry. Thank you, that's okay, Guillermo. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you, and Cesar Hamilton Rodriguez Castillo. All right, guys, perfect. I'll see you tomorrow. Recuerde, yo creo que entre mañana y, mañana es miércoles. Mañana y el jueves le van a hacer llegar el correo que les comenté de la encuesta de satisfacción o cuestionario de satisfacción, se les pide y se les recuerda que no lo llenen solos el viernes, que es el último día de clase, lo vamos a llenar en clase todos juntos para irle dando los lineamientos, así es que si mañana lo recibe eh, no lo abra, abrámoslo hasta el jueves perdón, hasta el viernes para hacerlo todos y todas juntas aquí en clase para evitar cualquier confusión y darles bien los números y cosas, que, información que corresponde para cierre de módulo Va, eh, la aclaración también va por el hecho de que muchos dicen, ay, pero si yo no voy a continuar, no importa. Eso no es para continuar o no, sino que es para cerrar este módulo que estamos acá. Y es parte de los requisitos que Insafor pide de nosotros que llenemos esa encuesta o cuestionario de satisfacción. All right. Thank you, guys. Igual sigan con sus tareas, porfa. Los veo mañana. Gracias. Solo se queda Elmer un ratito conmigo. All right. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, bye, Dinora. Good night, good night. Bye, Carlita. Bye, bye. Bye, José Eduardo. Bye, Judith. Bye, Omar. Bye, Gonzalo. Very good. All right. Guillermo, si gusta, you can uh, finish the class para solo quedarme con Elmer acá. Very good, Elmer. A ver, cuénteme. Is there anything, Elmer, that I can help you with? Elmer, Elmer, ¿me escucha? Yeah, yes, teacher, yes, ah, okay, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Yeah, eh, the, my, where? Mm, uh, difficult to me and uh -huh. to learn, to learn English is when, when another people talk about, about uh, me, I yeah, I answer when I answer because I don't think in English. Okay. I only think in Spanish because when when I answer when he asked me question, I don't know say that. Okay. Uh, it's, it's difficult, but a little little understand a little understand. I don't understand me more or oh, mucho. Very much. Very much, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, another difficult it because uh, I can uh, uh, I have a sleep mm -hmm. because uh, I had another uh, many days. I sleep uh, three, four hours, mm. and in another day, and another rest of the day, uh, I wake up because I work, or uh, I have take a class to my daughter, my okay. daughter, yes. my daughter, and it's difficult to sleep in the day when I have to the work at night. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, difficult, Elmer, but you're doing okay, Elmer. I mean, yeah. you just need to practice a little bit more. Yeah, uh, yeah I have Seriously, I had to see a movie in English, mm -hmm. and I, I had a, a no read when in Spanish because okay. uh, at, at the down the, the TV. Okay. Because I intend to understand a, a movie. Okay. 
Yeah, but that is good practice, Elmer, all right? I think you are understanding English a little bit more, all right? Mm -hmm. And I know it's difficult because you have a job, you have a family, all right? So that's a lot of work. But you know what? Listening to movies, listening to English music is a very good idea. I, I, I listened in, in, in the past, yeah, in the past, uh, I listen. I listening to podcast. The, ah yes. The Sarah and Sarah and John. Sarah and John. I I, I don't remember. Okay. That. But he he. Uh, he start to agudizar. Decía agudizar el oído. Claro agudizar el oído porque este, es, ahí está la clave en entender lo que nos están diciendo. Exacto. Uh -huh. y esa, esa parte es difícil para mí porque cuando yo read, uh -huh. I read a, a the song different. Ok. Como usted me ha corregido alguna vez. Sí. Es difícil. Entonces, sí. eh, por eso tengo que, bueno, ahorita estoy escuchando nuevamente Game Podcast en inglés. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. Ajá, uh -huh. because it's so interesting. Uh, yeah, it is. No sé hablar en español, le diré. No sé hablar nada de español porque pasé por alto quizás la gramática. <risa> No puedo gramática, digamos, o sea, no, no recuerdo haber estudiado gramática. Claro. Ajá, entonces, en, en inglés, recordar y decir, estudié gramática en español, no recuerdo. Ajá, sí, entonces, claro. Sí, pero, ahí, haciendo. Sí. Sí, pero mire, eso que usted está haciendo de escuchar podcast o películas o todo eso, le ayuda a despertar el oído, ¿verdad? Es como a, a acostumbrarlo, entrenarlo, a oír diferentes acentos, diferente fluidez, diferente rapidez, y eso le ayuda un montón. All right? Primero acuérdese que todo es como que lo tiene que entender primero para poder luego tener el vocabulario suficiente y poder exteriorizar sus ideas o expresar sus ideas. Entonces, lo que está haciendo es una muy buena práctica, Elmer. All right. Entonces, es de seguirlo haciendo, ¿verdad? Sabe que aparte de escuchar, sería bueno si usted está viendo una película, es obviamente póngala en inglés, pero también ponga los subtítulos no en español, sí póngalos en inglés, porque usted va a ir escuchando y va leyendo. Entonces, está practicando ambas habilidades, el de listening y el de reading. All right. y, puede, y puede identificar, ah, ok, así se dice esta palabra, ¿verdad? Entonces, es como tratar de ir mejorando su pronunciación y, y, y obviamente enriquecer el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Que es lo que queremos una vez usted tiene un, un, más, un amplio vocabulario, entonces obviamente puede expresarse mejor, ¿verdad? Y deja de pensar en español, pero eso nos pasa a todos, Elmer, ¿verdad? Siempre, siempre tenemos que pasar por, por ese proceso independientemente del idioma que usted esté aprendiendo. Siempre pasamos por eso, ¿verdad? Porque es como algo natural, especialmente cuando ya somos adultos y hay una necesidad de querer saber en nuestro idioma qué estamos diciendo, qué estamos pensando. Pero a medida usted lo va hablando más, lo va practicando más, poco a poco usted deja de ir pensando en español y no se da cuenta cuándo pasó, ¿verdad? Entonces es de interiorizarse más en el idioma, es de practicarlo más, eh, Todas las herramientas que ahora existen, ¿verdad? De, dentro de la internet, las películas, las canciones que siempre han estado ahí. Es de aprovechar ese recurso y poderlo, poderlo aprovechar. Imagínense que usted, pues, si le toca pesado cuando trabaja de noche y todo. Es, es difícil, ¿verdad? Pero es, es un esfuerzo que hay que hacer y poco a poco usted va a ir viendo como los frutos cada vez más, ¿verdad? Sí. Así es que siga adelante, va súper bien. All right. You're doing great. All right, very good. You said... Yeah, uh, big, but I uh, uh, olvidar. You forget. 
Yeah, I forget because uh, uh, ten years the uh, ago. Ten years ago, I start in this uh, intermediate 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 level. Yeah, yeah, ah, but right. <laughs> but because don't don't practice, don't right, don't yeah. speak, don't, uh, because it's difficult. Of course, yeah. Uh, it another is the complete. It when in my work talk English. Uh, is the what's it? Uh, technique. Oh, technical English, English, technical English. Uh, yeah. In, in, uh, in afuera, en la calle. And like outside? Uh, inside, inside the work, it's English different. Yeah, of uh, course. Uh, <laughs> en, mm -hmm. Entonces, yeah. por lo menos, eh, intenté o aprendí un poquito inglés, digamos, comercial, no sé cómo poderlo llamar. Pero eh, tuve que aprender más inglés técnico Ajá. y ah, se me hacía difícil muchas veces siempre entender. Uh -huh. Claro, sí. Sí, una cosa es el inglés técnico y otra cosa es el everyday English, ¿verdad? Exacto. Yeah, yeah. Pero no, eh, Elmer, usted está súper bien, right La idea es practicar y seguir. Porque si no le va a volver a pasar lo mismo, va a dejar de, de estudiarlo, va a dejar de practicarlo y van a volver a pasar tantos años, ¿all right? So, eso es lo que no queremos y queremos evitar, ¿verdad? Así es que lo invitamos a que siga. Yeah, because, because right now I start English again, because I, I learn, mm -hmm. uh, I teach English with my son. Oh, okay. Uh, and, Sí, sí, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, palabritas, enseñando de palabras. Ok. Y, y uh, it catch dura idea. Ajá. Uh -huh. Rápido. Ya, yeah, of course. <laughs> y y me pongo a pensar que me pongo, me pongo a pensar y querer retroceder toda esa capacidad de memorizar uh -huh. rápido. <laughs> sí, of course. Sí. Yes, very good. Ok, Elmer, lo dejo descansar. Gracias por quedarse un ratito con nosotros y eh, pues invitarle, ¿verdad? Siga adelante y siga pues usando de tanto recurso que ahora está disponible para todos, ¿verdad? Que eso hace más fácil el, el aprendizaje. All right? Así es que siga viendo sus películas, ponga los subtítulos en inglés, escúchelas y vaya, tenga un cuadernito y vaya apuntando palabras, ¿ok? okay. All right, very good, okay. Elmer. Thank you. Thank you. mañana. Thanks you. Bye. Good night. Bye now. Good night. Good night. Good night.